Okay, good morning to all grade 10 students of Pablo S. Villaparte High School. Again, this is your science teacher, Sir Eduardo D. Malli Jr. And before we proceed to our module, I have questions for you. When you wake up in the morning, you always look at blank. Okay, what is your answer? Cell phone? Okay, maybe. And I am sure that you will not forget looking at this. Okay, of course, mirror, looking at yourself. Imagine life without mirror. So that will be our focus for today. The use of plain mirror and also the next uh, module that we are going to discuss is another uh, the continuation of the content of this module. So you have to focus on this module for you to understand completely the different features, characteristics, the image formation of the uh, plain mirror. Okay. The content of this is, this is the science 10 quarter to module 11, wherein the main topic is the reflection of light in plain mirror. Okay, our most essential learning competency, predict the, the qualitative characteristics or the orientation type magnification of images formed by plain and curved mirrors and lenses. So your target for this module, distinguish the relationship between the number of images formed and the angle between two mirrors. Or number two, find the number of images formed by two mirrors at a given angle between them. Number three, differentiate is specular or regular reflection and diffused or irregular reflection. So those will be the focus of our discussion in this module. Okay, mirrors are reflecting surfaces which reflect light. Light reflected off by one mirror can easily be reflected again off by another and another mirrors. When two mirrors are kept at an angle, and an object placed in between the mirrors, multiple images are formed due to reflection from one mirror onto the other. This creates many images of a single object, as you can see in this picture. It created or formed three images. Before we proceed to the different exploratory activity, let us now answer these three test questions. Okay, read and analyze each statement carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, how many images will be formed if two plane mirrors will, will be placed at 30 degree angle? Is it A, 10, or B, 11, C, 12, D, 13? What is the correct answer? Okay, the correct answer is 11 images. So as we go further with this discussion, you can solve why the answer in number one is 11 images. Okay, number two, in what angle of the two plane mirrors will form only one image? Is it A, 60 degrees? B, 70 degrees, C, 90 degrees, or D, 180 degrees. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, 180 degrees. Number three, what is the formula for finding the number of images formed by two plane mirrors? Letter A, N is equals to 360 plus angle between the mirrors minus one. Letter B, N is equals to 360 degrees minus the angle between the mirrors plus one. Letter C, 360 degrees times angle between the mirrors minus one. Letter D, N is equals to 360 degrees divided by the angle between the mirrors minus 1. So the correct answer is, okay, letter D. Or memorize this formula, this letter D. This will be the formula in computing why this number 1 and number 2 got the answer of 11 images and why is it that this is 180 degrees. Okay, okay number 4. This is a reflection of light on smooth surfaces such as mirrors on calm body of water. A. Specular reflection. B. Diffused reflection. C. Irregular reflection. D. None of these. The correct answer is okay, specular reflection. Number five. This is a reflection of light on rough surfaces such as clothing, paper, wavy water, and the asphalt roadway. Letter A. Specular reflection. Letter B. Diffused reflection. Letter C. Regular reflection. D. All of the above. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. The diffused reflection. Let us proceed to this activity. Measuring angles. So using protractor, measure the angle between mirror 1 and mirror 2 and write it on the blank. So you have to measure the angle between the two mirrors. Assuming that this is the mirror 1, mirror 2, what will be this angle? Okay, let us try answering number 1. Okay, what angle is that? If you see this kind of angle representation, that will be equivalent to correct 90 degrees. That is the right angle. Okay, let us try answering number 2. Okay, that is 45 degrees. Okay, number 3, let us check. Okay, you will be the one to answer number 3, number 4, and number 5 using your protractor. So, this is less than 90 degrees. And number 4, maybe this is less than 45 degrees. And number 5, 
this is more than 90 degrees. So, those will be the hints in answering your or in measuring this angle. Okay, good luck in measuring these angles. Okay, let us now proceed to the next one. Okay, explore. Activity again, multiple images. Okay, in this activity, you will be the one to compute using this formula. Okay, the formula we are going to use is N is equals to 360 degree divided by the angle between the mirrors minus 1. So, this is the answer in number 3 in pretest question. So, using the equation below, we find the number of images that will be formed by the two plane mirrors with a given angle between them. The okay. large table. Okay, we have 10 degrees, 40 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, and 180 degrees. So, the arrangement is increasing angles. So, let us try answering. We have an example here. Angle between two mirrors is equal to 60 degrees. So, N is equal to 360. Substituting the formula, divide by 60 minus 1. The result is 360 minus, uh, divided by 60 is equal to 6 minus 1. We have 5 images. So, let us try answering number 1 and number 2. For number 1, Okay, the formula of course is N or the number of image is equals to 360 degrees divided by the angle between two plane mirrors. Okay, remember we are talking about plane mirrors. Okay, minus 1. Substituting now the formula, 360 degrees divided by 10. So from this table, 10 degrees minus 1. So the result, 360 uh, divided by 10 is equals to 36 minus 1. So the image is... 35, the number of image. Let us check. Okay, correct. The number of image in 10 degree is 35. Okay, let us try number 2. Okay, again, the formula, 360 degree divided by the angle between mirrors. Substituting now, 40 degrees. So, 360 divided by 40 is equivalent to 9. So, minus 1, we have 8 images. So, let us fill up the table. Okay, 8. So, for 90 degrees, for 120 degrees, and for 180 degrees, you will be the one to get the answer. So, always follow this pattern. This, uh, the, the formula, substituting the formula, and solving and eliminating the parentheses to find the final answer. And, we have the guide questions here. What did you observe on the number of images as the angle increases? As you can see, the arrangement of angle is increasing. So, what will be the number of images? So, number two, what is the relationship between number of images formed in the angle between the two mirrors? Okay, you can use proportional or inversely proportional. So, you can use the terms in relating the number of image to the angle between two plane mirrors. Okay, I have here a downloaded video from Facebook, although this is a funny video. But still, you can learn a lot from this uh, video. Let us play okay as you can see we have a dog and how many images you see okay we have this is the original object we have the images one two three we have three images and we have two plane mirrors what do you think is the measurement of angle of this okay correct that is 90 degrees so let us watch as you can see you can also do this activity Okay, when I was in elementary, I had already made this kind of activity with my roaster chicken. So, with my roaster chicken, in front of two plain mirrors, I put some rice and that roaster keep on fighting the different images. So, you, you may also conduct this kind of experiment. Let us pass forward. some trivia question to you. How many images will be formed if two plane mirrors are facing each other like in a barbershop? Okay, you may go to barbershop and count the number of images or if you can count the number of images of two plane mirrors facing, actually facing with each other. So you may comment down here after doing or if you know the answer, you may comment down here in our comment box. 
in our comment section. Okay, let us now proceed to the next. Okay, keep this in mind. Multiple images are the images that are formed when two or more mirrors are placed in front of each other and an object is placed between them. When two mirrors are kept at an angle and an object placed in between the mirrors, multiple images are formed due to reflection from one mirror on to the other. The number of images of the object formed depends on the angle between two mirrors. Okay, the number of reflected images increase or decreases with the increasing or decreasing of angle between them. So, this is now the interrelationship. As the angle between the mirrors decreases, the number of images formed increases. So, as the angle becomes smaller, the number of images become greater. Um, uh, next one, when the mirrors are facing each other in parallel, there will be infinite image okay this will be the answer to my trivia question so the number of image can be determined using the formula below n is equals to 360 degrees divided by the angle between the mirror minus one so in this one this concept when the mirrors are facing each other and parallel there will be infinite images so when you say infinite you cannot be able to count so you may try in barber shop you go to the barber shop and look for the mirrors which are facing with each other and try to count your number of image okay good luck Okay, let us now proceed to the next activity. Let's find them. Okay, direction. Using the formula in finding the number of image or images, solve the given problems. Number one, how many images will be formed if two plane mirrors are placed at an angle of 36 degrees? So, based on the formula, based on the previous activity, you can now answer this. Number one. Number two, when the angle between two plane mirrors is 45 degrees, how many images will be formed by the mirrors? Okay, number three. In what angle will the two mirrors will produce 14 images? Okay, number four. The two plane mirrors produced five images. What is the angle between the two mirrors? So, we are looking for angle. Or look at the picture. What is the angle between two plane mirrors? So, this is related to the video, to the funny video that we had watched a while ago. So, good luck in answering this activity. Okay, keep this in mind. The types of reflection. Number one, the specular or regular reflection. This is a reflection of light on smooth surfaces such as mirrors or calm body of water. So as you can see in the fig figure, this is a kind of regular reflection. Okay, this is the example. Okay, number two, diffused or irregular reflection. This is a reflection of light on rough surfaces such as clothing, paper, wavy water, and the asphalt roadway. So this is uh, the example. Another one, picture recognition or direction. Look at the given pic pictures. Which of these is diffused reflection? or the specular reflection so you have to answer only diffuse or specular reflection for number for letter a look at this one letter b this is the image letter c look at the image okay next oh, sharing and wanting time okay what did you learn about this activity oh, i have learned that you can write it in your activity notebook or you may comment down directly here in our comment section Okay, I want to know more about, okay, what else do you want to know more or what are the questions that comes in your mind as we discussed this module? Okay, reinforcement, to deepen what you have learned in this module, accomplish the following tasks. If there are available plane mirrors at home, try to place them in following angles and count the number of image they will form. If you have or two plane mirrors, so try doing this by putting a coin in between them. So, a coin or a smaller object that can be reflected in that mirror. Okay, we have 60 degrees. Try doing the 60 degrees, the 45 degrees, 180 degrees, 90 degrees, or, and 120 degrees. Or try moving from 90 degrees. You can do the activities by simply moving slowly or moving slowly away to each other. So you can do that kind of activity. If you wish to see more images from mirrors, what will you do? Based on the concept, is it you're going to increase the degree or decrease the angle between the two plane mirrors. Okay, let us now proceed to the word list. The following terms are used in this module. Multiple images are the images that are formed when two or more mirrors are placed in front of each other and an object is placed between them. Reflection. Reflection is when light bounces off an object. A plane mirror is a mirror with a flat reflective surface. Just keep in your mind that when you say plane mirror, the actual size of the object should be equal to the actual size of the image. If that is smaller or larger than the object, so that is not a plane mirror. So we are now discussing today is all about plane mirror. So if you are going to conduct the different activities, make it sure that you are using plane mirror to avoid uh, misconception or incorrect 
concepts that will be formed in our mind. Okay, assess what you have learned. Okay, number one, what angle will the two plane mirrors form eight images? So you may try computing each one, 40 degrees, 50, 60, or 80. So good luck in computing. Okay, number two. Okay, number two, as the angle between the mirrors decreases, the number of images formed blank A decreases, B doubled, C increases, D remain the same. Number three, how many plane mirrors are needed to produce multiple images? A, 4, B, 3, C, 2, D, 1. Number 4. How many images will be formed when you held the mirrors at 180 degrees? Is it 4, letter B, 3, letter C, 2, letter D, 1. Number 5. This is a reflection of light on smooth surfaces such as mirrors or calm body of water. A. Specular reflection. B. Diffuse reflection. C. Irregular reflection. Letter D. Multiple images. Okay, congratulations, and I hope you got all the answers correctly. Okay, again, this is Sir Eduardo D. Malli Jr. Thank you for watching this video. And for our dis uh, next discussion is the continuation about the reflection of light in a plane mirror. Okay, in this module, the module 12, we are going to focus more on the orientation or the location, the orientation, the size, the type of images that is being formed in a plane mirror so continue watching my video don't forget to subscribe to be updated on the next coming module that i am going to upload and again thank you and good luck to all students